All right, anyway, let's, let's take a look. So we want to calculate the change in enthalpy for this reaction. What is the change in enthalpy for this particular reaction? Okay. All right. Well, again, like I said, we could do calorimeter. We can get the materials and actually do it, or we can use Hess's law. All right. What I found using Hess's law is that we need to do is take these three reactions. Now, the AP test or all tests, pretty much, if they want you to do a Hess's law problem, they're going to give you these three. All right, and they're going to give you the changes in enthalpy for these reactions. So somebody already calculated what the change in enthalpy is for this combustion reaction. They've already figured out what the change in enthalpy is for the decomposition of carbon dioxide, and they've tabulated these results. We're then going to manipulate these to get this overall reaction. So why these three reactions? Well, one, I always do is I always go through and I look at why is what's special about this reaction? Why would they choose this reaction out of the billions of reactions they can choose? Why this particular? Because of the C2H2, the acetylene. The acetylene is going to match this here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these three steps, or the, not steps, but these three reactions, and try to make this reaction out of them. So the first thing I need to do is I need to, let's get that out of the way because I want to write over here. I need to do is I need to reverse this reaction. Remember, we can do three things. Well, technically two. We can either reverse the reaction or we can multiply it by a value. So I want to make this match this here. What I mean is that if it's a product in my reaction, I need to make it a product. So it's a, re a reactant right now, so I have to reverse the reaction. So I'm going to rewrite that as 2CO2 gas, and it's going to react with water to produce, a li well, with the liquid water, to produce C2H2 gas plus 5 halves oxygen. And when I do that, I have to change the sign notation of my change in enthalpy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite my change in enthalpy. And a lot of students don't do this. They kind of leave this you know, they kind of just vaguely do this without really writing the steps out. I would strongly recommend you rewrite this as opposed to changing this and working on here. I just rewrite everything down at the bottom, okay? So I rewrote my changes, and all I do is reverse the reaction. I reverse the sign notation. Now, if I take a look at my carbon uh, dioxide reaction, why this reaction? What is it so special about this? Well, carbon is the only thing that shows up in this reaction it's not in either one of these two reactions. So I have to make this carbon solid match this carbon solid here. Two things I need to match. One, if it's a product, I'm sorry, if it's a reactant in my reaction, I need to make it a reactant. So first thing I need to do here is reverse this reaction. Okay, so I have to reverse it because I want this to be a, a, pro, a reactant, not a product. Second, notice that the coefficient here is a two. Right, so I need to double this. So I need to double the whole reaction. So I'm going to multiply the whole reaction by two. Two things I can do: reverse the reaction, multiply it by two. Watch the states of matter is the third one, but usually you'll have a reaction that will do the conversion of the states if you need to. All right, so I'm going to reverse the reaction and multiply it by two. And I'm going to rewrite my change in enthalpy. I have to reverse the sign, make it negative, and then multiply it by two. And I already did that, so it's 787 kilojoules. Okay, so notice I'm not looking at anything else in the reaction. I am not concerned with the carbon dioxides. I, I don't care about those. I don't care about the oxygens. All I'm doing is I'm focusing on a single element or compound in each of the reactions. This doesn't work for every single reaction, but it's a very, very good strategy that I would strongly recommend that you start with. All right, let's take a look at the, the last one. All right, for the last one here, uh, what's so special about the last reaction? Well, I would say that, okay, there's water, but there's no water here. Oxygen, no, there's no oxygen here. I'm going to focus on hydrogen gas, okay? Hydrogen gas has to be a reactant. If the reactant in my reaction, it's a reactant here. Is the coefficient a 1? Yep, it's coefficient 1. What do I do here? Nothing. I do nothing to this reaction. You can do that. You can do absolutely nothing to these. All right, so I'm going to add up my reaction. I'm going to do the same thing we did before. I'm going to take everything that's on the pro reactant side, cross it out if it's on the react on the product side. So notice, two carbon dioxides, gone. Those cancel out because they're on both sides of the reaction. Uh, let's see, I have water in the liquid phase. Watch the states of matter. Okay, and I have oxygen, two and a half, five halves. Five halves, if you simplify that, comes out to two and a half. Oops, two and a half. So this cancels out, this cancels out. And what am I left with? I'm left with two carbon solids plus hydrogen gas. Give me 
C2H2 gas. Is that the reaction that I'm looking for? Carbon solid up here? Yep, matches the reaction. Hess's Law says if that's true, when I sum up these steps, all I need to do is sum up all of my changes in enthalpy. And when I do that, I end up with a positive 227.1 kilojoules. So that would be the energy, 227.1 kilojoules. This would be an endothermic process because it's a positive change in enthalpy. So watch your sign notations. If you've noticed one thing in thermochemistry so far, and so sign notations can be very, very important, so be careful. If you left it with a positive symbol, that's fine. You don't have to put the positive here, but uh, you just want to know that it's an endothermic process. We have to put in 227 kilojoules of energy to create this acetylene gas. All right, so take a look at some, uh, we'll take a look at some problems in class, and I will see you guys later. Bye.